All right, so when it comes to bottling, there's a few things you need to look for in appropriate bottles. And the biggest thing is that it's not a twist-off bottle, that it's the actual pop top. So one that you would have needed a, a, a bottle cap opener to uh, drink the beer. So here's an example. See how this lip is constant here? There's no threads in it. I'm actually spinning it around now. There's no threads. It's just one constant bead. And that's what you're looking for. This is easy for a cap to crimp onto. Now, like a lot of the crappier mass-produced domestic beers, you'll see these These are actually a screw thread because you can actually you know, twist the cap off. Um, you don't want to use those. It's really hard to get a really tight, dependable seal on those uh, using home brand equipment. So that's what you want to look for as far as the, the threading goes at the top. I mean, no threading, continuous lip is what you want. Uh, you know, it can be a bigger bottle too. It could be a, this is a half liter, half of Eisen bottle from Oven Tennis. Uh, you know, you could use the standard 12 ounce. These can go all the way up to uh, the 20 ounce, uh, 22 ounce bombers. Um, but they all have the same continuous lip and the same size cap, so they work great. Okay, another option is to use a swing top bottle. So the beer Grolsch made this style popular. Um, it's got this cage here with a bottle cap attached to it with a rubber gasket. So zoom in here. See, it's got a nice continuous lip. The rubber gasket makes it form a nice seal. And then all you do, instead of using a, a bottle capper, you just push down and lock it into place. And there you go. So this is nice and sealed. It's not going to leak. Uh, and it's dependable. This will work just fine. These types of bottles, though, are more expensive. You can get them at homebrew shops. Uh, but it, it does eliminate the need for using a bottle capper. But one thing is you cannot, uh, you got to make sure you take these rubber gaskets off and you want to sanitize them separately as well as sanitizing the bottles. Uh, I want to show you guys too an option that, that will not work and that is a growler. So a lot of the breweries you're going to go to and visit the brew pubs are going to have a uh, you know homebrew or I'm sorry microbrew on tap and they'll sell you these growlers to go and you know they're being sealed up with a cap like this. This is not a dependable enough seal to bottle your homebrew. It's going to lose carbonation for sure within a week if not a few days and uh, you know obviously that's no good for us. So this is good for transporting from a keg or a tap if you have that but you know these threads here uh, and this cap is just not uh, completely airtight just not dependable enough to uh, bottle your home brew in here okay. So I hope that uh, cleared some things up for you guys again you really want to look for bottles that have the continuous lip on them and you can splurge a little extra, get some swing tops. Definitely don't use growlers and don't use any bottle that has a twisted thread at the top, just like this growler has. So there you go. Oh, one more thing. Definitely get darker colored bottles. This does block some of the sun's rays that are harmful to beer. That's why a lot of, uh, why Heineken will taste different in the bottle versus on tap or in a can because the light, sunlight does hit those bottles and does cause a chemical reaction in there and can produce a flavor that some people you know, would call skunky. I certainly have done this taste test uh, next to each other with a bottle of Heineken and a can of Heineken and I really can pick up a difference. So always use dark colored glass. No green, no clear.